Habari ya asubuhi good morning this was our fourth day in masemara this day after early breakfast at lorian safari camp we shifted our base to mara north conservancy a traditional group photo and we started our safari and we were not aware that this day we are going to see something special something unique on our way we saw the mother sun break away faction of a topi pride remember a simple rule of composition always leave more space in the direction where the subject is looking this type of framing renders a sense of direction to the image benson our guide gave us some important geographical information as we were leaving the national park boundary we are all, we are, we are almost to go away from out from mase mara gamresa Okay. This is the middle of Masimara in Olaudio Conservancy. Okay. So we are now in Olaudio when we are heading to Marangot. Uh -huh. So that side is So Masimara. we have to pass through the Olaudio Yeah, now we are passing uh, the middle of Olaudio Conservancy. Okay. So the reserve is on that side and Olaudio here. So we are passing to Olaudio to go to Marangot Conservancy. So in the next about like uh, 15 20 minutes we will be in Marangot. We were now in Olaudio Orek Conservancy. elephants displayed how they are super protective when it comes to safeguarding their babies and then we saw a large herd of giraffe took some low angle videos and photos i realized that in the process of bending down from the window to take a low angle shot i inadvertently cut the feet of the giraffe whenever you are taking a picture either looking through the viewfinder or from the lcd screen of your camera look at the borders just have a glance through all the boundary walls and ensure that you are not excluding anything which is necessary or for that matter you are not including anything which is not necessary and may prove or may act as a distractor i rectified the mistake and took this image so that i did not cut any body part of the animal but this is not to say that always you have to cover the entire animal sometimes you purposely cut some body part you purposely shoot close but whenever you are doing it it must look that you have done it purposely and not accidentally the final product should look a product by design and not a product by default remember the other day i took this image i think you got the point and if so please like this video subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed 
till now. This is going to definitely help me. One of the giraffe passed at a very close distance. I zoomed in and at 600 millimeter took this image. Whenever you are taking a close image, it reveals the texture. It reveals the pattern. You can also use such type of images as a background for your slide presentation or a background for your thumbnail. And then we witnessed something very interesting from an academic point of view. One of the baby giraffe was suckling while other baby was behind the mother. I cannot say with total conviction that these two babies were twins. But their body language, their size and they both following mother giraffe pointed towards that possibility. If this was true, we were witnessing extremely rare occurrence. The twinning rate in giraffe is 1 in every 2,80,000 birth. So in that sense, this was a rare spectacle. We were now almost at the border of Mara North Conservancy. The landscape in North Conservancy was strikingly different from that of a national park. Rocky structures, hilly terrain dominated the area. As we entered the conservancy area, we were greeted by this black crested eagle. This was beginning of the rich bird life of Mara North Conservancy. We could see and photograph different birds which we did not see in the national park. And then we saw a grand gazelle at a very close distance. There are two types of gazelles. One is a grand gazelle which is bigger and one is a Thompson gazelle which is smaller. Invariably with the grand gazelle and Thompson gazelle you will also find one more antelope and that is impala. May it be any type of monkey, even a ferocious baboon. You just can't pass them without a smile on your face. After being entertained by the baboons, we checked in to our lodge at Mara North. This luxurious lodge and cottages at the bank of Mara River was our home for the next two nights. After lunch and some relaxation, we settled in our vehicle for a safari which was to be extended late in the evening to be continued as a night safari. It was a full moon night that day. Just outside our lodge was this pair of giraffe. They were in a courtship. And this is the real taste of a patience for a photographer. You have to wait for long and be ready to shoot that decisive moment because the action takes place only for the fraction of second. Action happened, but it was obliterated by the bushes. I told you that wildlife photography is all about frustration. Another wait for 20 to 30 minutes and this time we got a relatively better angle. And then we were in front of a no tail, lion from the offbeat pride. I was informed that he lost his tail in fight with another lion, but I doubt. It was not looking as if the tail was amputated or it was injured. Developmental anomalies like having no tail or having a half tail or a partial tail is not uncommon in lions. Our group was in five different vehicles with my trademark logo pasted on each one of them. I captured no tail lion with my trademark logo in the background. As a photographic mentor, I also have to think about capturing those images which I can use for advertising my next two. No tail was also in a courtship and he also gave us some close portrait shots. Sky was displaying its evening hue and smoke from the burning of grass provided perfect backdrop for this image. Exposure compensation of minus one serves the purpose well for such type of images. And it also requires some increase in the vibrance and saturation in post-processing. It was a full moon night and we waited for the moon to show up on the horizon. Giraffe went inside the bushes and we chose topi antelope as a foreground element. Topi also cooperated for a long time, but clouds had other plans. They ensured that moon was kept hidden. Plan did not work. We continued our safari through night with offbeat pride of lions. I will talk about nighttime photography in a separate video. Till then, keep exploring. And this vibrant image was my photo of the day. 